When doctors diagnosed Bryce Ortega with one of the most career-threatening injuries for an athlete, the UA baseball player thought he might never step on this field again. He walked on to one of the NCAA's top baseball programs, but he never imagined he would land a spot in the starting lineup. Noted for his agility in the middle infield, Bryce Ortega was a name well known by scouts around the country. A promising baseball career halted when doctors told him what he thought was a pulled back muscle was an injury serious enough to keep him off the field forever. The final diagnosis was that I had fractured my vertebrae, my L5 vertebrae on both sides. So your back is pretty vital part of your body. So I obviously came to the realization that maybe I was never going to play baseball again. After diagnosis, he was put in a brace that doctors told him might be his only chance for recovery. A brace that Arizona's head coach, Andy Lopez, will never forget. It's the only way I can describe the brace is it looked like he'd been in, a, in some type of head-on collision with a Mack truck or something. And I remember him walking on the field and thinking, man, his career's over. You know, he's, there's no way this guy's ever going to play again. But Ortega had a different outcome in mind. After only nine months of rehab, he shocked his coaches and doctors. He returned to the U of A field in February for his first game since diagnosis. He batted three for four with two RBIs and had a perfect game in the infield. He's everything you want in a college athlete. Great student, tremendous leader, really good baseball player. He will get a chance professionally. He's good enough to do that. So it is a neat story. A story that Ortega hopes doesn't end here. I'm just going to try to manage at least through this year and continue my rehab so nothing else bad happens. And God willing, maybe I'll be able to play after this. Doctors say Ortega's back will never fully heal. He is playing his last collegiate season with a broken vertebrae, giving a new meaning to what many call the field of dreams. For Arizona Cat's Eye, I'm Lauren King.